reports coming in, President Trump now considering a new executive action on guns. Joining me now is Texas Republican Representative Brian Babin. Great to see you, sir. Great to be with you. Very, uh, very tragic circumstances. Sorry that uh, this is happening, uh, but it's good to be with you to talk about the uh, solution because we have one. Sir, so let me get first to this executive action. Could it maybe, what would it look like? Could it maybe increase fines for gun makers who circumvent regulations or eliminate loopholes that let domestic abusers buy guns? What would it look like? I, you know, I don't know what that kind of executive action would look like. I'm talking about a solution. I have a bill. Uh, Liz, I have a bill, H.R. 838, called the TAPS Act. And it is, uh, there's 114 bipartisan uh, co-sponsors, over 50 uh, outside organizations and associations uh, that, have, uh, that have endorsed this, uh, this uh, bill. And it's ready to go. It's in the Judiciary Committee in the House of Representatives. There's a, uh, the, the same bill uh, is uh, in the, uh, the U.S. Senate being sponsored by Kirsten Sinema and Marco Rubio. What would it do, sir? This is something, uh, this is a great start. What would it do? Uh, it's called the Behavioral Threat Threat, the Behavioral Threat Assessment Method. Uh, this was uh, developed by the uh, Secret Service after the 1983 assassination attempt on President Reagan. Uh, it has been very, very successfully used by Secret Service, and now it's been taken up years ago by FBI and the Capitol Hill Police and the LAPD uh, to, uh, to uh, guard, and, and, uh, uh, guard the lives of our celebrities. And so why not, if it's good enough for the president, for diplomats, for the Congress, and for celebrities, it, it is a good enough plan for the American people. And that's why we have to pass this thing. We've got to do something. And we have been working bipartisanly. Uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know it by the rhetoric that's going on now at this time. But we have, a, as I said, an equally bipartisan bill, 114 uh, yeah, uh, co-sponsors you know, and, and over 50. It's, it's, what you're talking about is really, really interesting. Yeah, you wonder if the president is going to support it because there's bipartisan support, too, for the red flag laws. The NRA supports it, and that would let law enforcement or family members get a temporary court order, or temporary court order to stop individuals uh, who pose a danger from getting guns. There's been 1,700 of those actions already in 17 states. So it's your push, your bill, and that as well. Looks like the president could get gun reform. Who would have thought it? Well, you know, it's uh, this president is doing a great job. He's doing his, he's doing the best that he possibly can uh, against a uh, juggernaut of opposition from the uh, the other side of the aisle and from the mainstream media. Uh, but I'll tell you, the uh, the red flag laws, the TAPS Act, which is my bill with the one I was just uh, talking about, is really not a red flag bill. This is a already existing. Uh, method. Uh, this is a protocol used by the uh, Secret yeah. Service that just needs to be gotten from, the, from federal to state and local hands so that we can, in, uh, we can start connecting the dots. You've seen yeah, the, I, I the, you, the killers in, in Orlando. Mm -hmm. We've, we've got to be able to connect the dots, and, and these people run up uh, uh, their own red flags on themselves. You know, it's interesting, sir, the Democrat National Committee accused of now fundraising for donations off of the mass shootings, and Nancy Pelosi is saying that Democrats will, quote, make all August too hot to handle for the Senate to act on, uh, not to act on gun reform. You know, Nancy Pelosi is out on recess. Uh, the House is now on August recess. I don't know how she's going to make it too hot to handle for the Senate not to do something. Final word, sir. Well, you know what? If they want to bring us back to do a meaningful vote, bipartisan uh, legislation, then I think what, what could be better than coming back and voting for something that's going to keep Americans safe bipartisanly. Uh, but if we're going back just for the, the, the partisanship, uh, the dog and pony show, which is not going to happen, uh, it, it, we have knee-jerk reactions every time there's something like this, uh, gun control on one side, arming everybody on the other side. We've got to compromise, and we, we have to yeah. make something uh, happen and also get, okay. keep Americans safe. Congressman, and it's good ready luck to with go, your bill. Liz. Well, Congressman Babin, good luck with your bill. We'll certainly follow it and uh, the developments there. Thank you so much for bringing us that story, Congressman Babin. Thank Great you, to Liz. see you.